simulator is a dynamic simulation of a machine, a car, a plane, or in this case, a boat. Um, the difference really with the simulator is it allows people to interact with it, which is obviously a big part of racing. Sport is a technical sport, it's that marriage between machine and human, and the simulator really is the point where that all comes together. In the past, Artemis Racing have done did great work in the last America's Cup with dynamic modeling, understanding, but they where an area we missed out was that interaction with the humans and you know Team New Zealand did a nice job of understanding that relationship. By the end of the cup the group that we had assembled had gotten to a really good place and we were really happy with you know, what we had put on the water and what we competed with but what we felt was that our tools and our processes probably didn't su uh, support us in the ways that we needed and we saw the uh, simulator as a way to create a sort of foundation of where we could work together even more effectively than we, we have in the past. The simulator does have two functions, uh, crew training, which is just allowing the sailors to work with the boat, work on muscle memory, work through protocols, uh, playbooks, maneuvers, and that type, that type of activity. And second is the development of the systems, which allow us to simulate uh, the software we run on the boat, uh, a lot of the hardware that the sailors interface with, uh, in real time, just as if it was on the water. So it's a it's a pretty nice environment to iterate and test and develop. That's not as time sensitive and, and costly as, as putting hardware on the water. And we use the simulator quite effectively in, in developing that side of the boat as well as training the sailors. So uh, during the sea trials process, uh, we were effectively able to test some new functionality um, overnight. Uh, in the UK on the simulator, ensure that it performed as predicted uh, before we, were then, we then ported that code back into the real yacht for the next day. So the simulator is where you bring together your um, simulation of the racing and the environment but in real time and that's the key and that's probably the challenge here. It's quite easy to model some things accurately in very high fidelity, understand what's going on but to get it to run real time so that a human can interact with it in exactly the same way they can on the water is a real challenge and it's been a many, many months of skill and ingenuity from the Artemis Technologies engineers to bring that together into what we see behind me today, which is the world's most advanced sailing simulator. Uh, you want to